Hey, as a business owner, you're gonna be grinding. That's just how it is. You're gonna grind and, and you should be grinding. And when you first start, you're gonna be grinding like crazy. You're gonna be putting in countless hours. I mean, I can remember back when I first started in my business, I'm literally getting up at 6 a.m. to go to my W-2 job as a teacher. And I'll go there and I would teach until like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., whatever time I was able to get out. And then from 4 p.m. until a lot of times midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, I was grinding, right? I'm looking at properties, I'm working on the properties, I'm meeting with people, I'm on my computer at home digging and trying to find the next deal that's available. So you're grinding, you're going hard, and that's the way it's gonna be and that's okay. But there's a time and a place, and it should come earlier. I'm hard-headed, right? And I didn't have people telling me, look, you've got to start hiring. And here's the secret. When you start hiring people, guess what happens? You start to make more money, okay? There's this fear that says, well, but if I hire somebody, I got to pay their salary. And that's a, tr that's a real thing, right? You got to pay for them. But what happens is you end up making more money if you make the right hires. So focus on making the right hires, of course. But if you make the right hires in the right spots, you'll start making more money because guess what? It frees your time up to do what you should be doing, which is growing that business. And as you continue to grow, you're gonna to continue to make more and more hires. And you should be doing that much earlier than what you think. When you think you're ready, you've been far beyond ready. So make sure you're making those hires. And I like to hire quickly and fire even quicker. Right? If it doesn't work out, we've got to move that person out. It's not doing them a favor. They're in the wrong position. It's not doing you a favor. They're in the wrong position. It doesn't do anybody a favor to keep them in the wrong position. Potentially, you can even put them in a different position with, within your company, which might be the best thing of, of all cases if that works out. But look, when you have this business, understand you're going to grind. And I can remember back in my early days, look, I, so many things I did wrong or or just continue to push forward and when I should have made a pivot and I should have said, hey, I gotta hire people. I can remember early on when I started, I'm physically working on these properties, physically working, I'm trying to physically work on these properties and continue to buy more properties. How does that work? You can't do it. I didn't have time to grow my business because I'm too worried about being in my business. I can't find a, a contractor because I'm worried about how expensive they are and I can do it for cheaper. Well, I'm not valuing my time. Finally, I'm like, okay, I gotta hire contractors because I got too many properties and I wanna continue to grow that. So I finally started hiring people to do the work. And then I'm sitting here and I'm grinding still and I'm running to the store to get materials for these contractors because they need materials and I want to keep them going. And so instead of hiring a delivery guy, which would have been the smart thing for me to do, I'm the one that's being the delivery guy. And until, and this is where my paradigm really shifted. It was I'm sitting here driving my car and it's literally, it's a Nissan Altima and I'm driving a car and it's sitting at this, you know, angle because it's full of so much stuff. It's got two by fours in there. It's got concrete bags. It, it's just full of crap. And I'm driving down the road and I hit this railroad track bed and that railroad track bed made my car go boom. And the shocks and the struts and the whole thing went out and I limped myself to the service station Several thousand dollars later, I got my car back. And several days later, I got my car back. But I went, in that meantime, I'm like, there's got to be a better way. And I figured out, yeah, I can hire a delivery driver or I can just have the place I'm trying to buy this material for actually do it for me. Like, they'll deliver it. And they were delivering it for free. And by the way, I found out in that process that they actually will go to my property They'll go to my property and they will do material take and they'll tell me how many light fixtures I need and how many plumbing fixtures and all this kind of stuff. And they'll look at it and go, here's what you need. Here's the stuff. We're going to send it to your property. What day do you want it there? And it was super simple. 
And until you start to trust other people, until you start to step outside and shift that paradigm a little bit and say, hey, I can do it all, certainly, but I'm not the best at this, by the way, and it's not serving me or my company. And that's really the biggest thing. Is this is really serving myself or the company. Because I am really good at doing construction, but that doesn't serve my company anymore. It doesn't help me grow my company. I could go ahead and show tenants my rental properties or manage my rental properties, but that doesn't serve my rental properties the way that I need to be served. I need them to get better service than that, by the way. I'm not gonna pay attention to the tenants like I should. So I know that and I hire somebody that's gonna care for them. I hire somebody that's gonna pay attention to them. I hire maintenance people that are gonna take care of them, right? I wanna make sure we've got the systems and the people in place. There's a great book called e The E-Myth. If you haven't read it, read The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. Gerber. It's a, a fantastic book. It's about building a better pie shop, right? You, you don't do it all yourself. If you're the baker, you're never going to grow your business. There's another great book called Who Not How. Uh, I believe that's by Dan Sullivan. It's a fantastic book. And there's so many other ones out there. The One Thing by Gary Keller. Look, educate yourself and figure out how can you really be continuing to grow your business without you. I think there's a, a book I read, and I can't remember who uh, wrote this. This is, can't credit me. But it basically said, look, you need to take a vacation. You need to take a vacation for a month. And maybe it was even longer than that. But what that will do is it'll actually allow you to make sure you have the right people in place, the right systems in place to be able to replace yourself. And that's the ultimate goal is that you replace yourself in your business. And so you can focus on continuing to grow the business and make it better versus being the physical laborer in that business. Hire people that are smarter than you that can do that and then you can focus on what's important in your business and that's the growth and affecting the most amount of people as possible. See, in my business, I wanna affect millions of people in a positive way and I can't do that if I'm the one that's physically laboring on all the tasks in my business. I'm gonna always be grinding and I'm gonna always be laboring but I need to be focusing on growth and so that I can affect more and more people in a positive way.